paired or unpaired student T test in SPSS. Student T test for two dependent or paired or related samples in SPSS. The T test, the paired T test is a parametric test that can be performed when there are two set of data. These two set of data are paired or related and participant in each set are the same. So each participant has been subjected to different uh, measurement at different time point or different measurement um, to perform the test certain assumptions have to be fulfilled the first assumptions or the first assumption is the data set should be normally distributed and continuous so the two set of data has to be normally con distributed and continuous and the two data set have to be paired and the difference between the pairs is approximately normally distributed and there is no outliers in the differences here in this uh, data view in SPSS I had inserted a data for 50 participant that has been uh, involved in a study examining the effect of a new drug in lowering the systolic blood pressure so here we have two variables uh, variable one which is untreated condition at a time of zero when the drug is not given and condition two post drug treatment uh, when the um, participant have been subjected to a, a drug and to examine and test whether there is a difference uh, in the systolic blood pressure uh, before taking the drugs compared to taking drug so in this case the same participant participated in the uh, two different measurement at a time of zero and post treatment when the drug is administered and then the systolic blood pressure was measured and recorded as shown here to find out whether there is a difference between post uh, uh, pre and post uh, treatment then the paired t test will be performed as the data has been checked for the assumptions to do the analysis, click on analyze, scroll down to compare means and then select the paired samples T test. In the new window for paired samples T test, select the untreated and drag it to variable one and then the treated into the variable two as shown here the paired variables click on the options no changes here and leave the uh, box here text click on ok uh, several tables are generated in the output for SPSS for paired T test the first table shows the paired samples statistics for untreated and treated there are 50 participants as they are both involved or participated in the same study uh, with measurement at different uh, conditions the mean for the untreated is 154.2 and for treated is 146.1 so from this initial uh, values it is uh, visible to say that uh, the 
drug has lowered the systolic blood pressure as the uh, set which have uh, been uh, given the drug the mean for the systolic blood pressure is lower than the mean for the untreated and if we look at the standard deviation here it is nearly 10 for untreated and 11 for the treated and a standard error of the mean is given here looking at the third table here for paired sample test which is the major table here as shown it shows the paired difference so the difference in the mean between the untreated to treated is 8.1 so there is a difference in the uh, mean for systolic blood pressure between the untreated and treated and the standard deviation is 15.3 and the standard error of 2.164 next uh, 95% confident or confidence interval for the difference is given here lower and upper the lower is 3.7 and the upper is 12.5 and the uh, mean difference um, is between these two values the lower and the upper and the lower and the upper value the confidence interval doesn't cross the zero value then this can confirm that the observation that there is a difference in the mean is statistically significant so 95 percent confidence interval confirm that there is a statistical significant uh, uh, differences uh, uh, between untreated and treated and also given in the table the t test value which is at 3.7 and degree of freedom and uh, p value significant level at one sided or two sided p value in our case we will use the two sided as the null hypothesis state that uh, there is no difference between the mean for the two set of data pre-treated and post-treated and the p-value here is less than 0.05 so it is significant and we can conclude from here that uh, there is a difference in the systolic blood pressure between those uh, who had the drug uh, compared to the same individuals before taking the drug in another way uh, the drug has lowered the uh, systolic blood pressure uh, significantly student t test for independent or unrelated or unpaired samples in spss student t test is a parametric test that can be performed when there are only two groups and the data in these two groups are normally distributed and have an equal variances so there are two assumptions that have to be fulfilled before performing a student t test for uh, independent samples or unpaired samples the first assumption is that the data should be normally distributed the second assumption is that both groups or samples have equal variances student t test is a robust test that can be used when even the uh, equal variances assumption is violated here in this SPSS data view, I have two variables. The first one is the gender, which is the independent variable, which is the grouping variable. So there are two groups, male and females. There are a hundred participants here, and there are 50 participants in each 
group and if we click on the variable uh, view and then click on values the value zero is given to male and value one is assigned to females and if we go back again to the data view and as shown here zero for male and one for females the second variable which is the dependent variable is a scale variable as shown here by the variable view is a scale and it is measured in centimeter which is the height of each individual to find out whether there is a difference in the height between male and females and whether the males uh, are taller or shorter than females then a student t test will be performed and since the data here uh, or the samples are unrelated as we have here two separate groups male and females and they are not related then the independent student t test will be performed independent sample test and to do that test click on analyze scroll down to compare means and then click on the independent sample t test a new window will appear here move the height which is the dependent variable into the test variable and the gender into the grouping variable and then click on define groups and the groups are given a value for zero for male and one for females click on continue and then tick on options no major no changes will be performed here click on continue and then we'll keep this estimate effect size ticked if we click on ok three tables are generated in the output of the spss the first table is a descriptive showing that the gender have two groups males and females and there are 50 participant in each group so two groups male and females and the mean or the average for the height of the male or males are 169.35 and for females it is 160.40 from these values there is a difference between the height of the male group compared to the female groups whether this significant or not we will prove that in the subsequent table and also in the descriptive statistics a standard deviation is given here as for the male it is 10.5 and for female it is 9.27 so this standard deviation indicates that there might be an equal of variances as the variance is the square of the standard deviation and then the standard error of the mean is given here in the second table which is the major table here there are different sections the first section is the Levens test for equality of variances so this test will test whether there is equal variances or not equal variances between the two groups the male and the females and the SPSS will generate uh, an output a table a t-test for both when there is equal variances assumed and when there is unequal variances as for the Levens test here the significant value is greater than 0.05 so we need this value to be greater than 0.05 
once it is greater than 0 0.05 which is in this case 0 0.387 this indicate that the two groups male and females have an, an equal variances so the assumptions for performing the independent sample t test is fulfilled here so there is no need to look at the values for unequal variances in the, the table also the t test value is calculated and given here as 4.5 and a degree of freedom and then significant value when there is one-sided p value and two-sided p value and the p value here as shown will be you look at and the p-value to look at is the two-sided one as here our uh, null hypothesis states that there is no differences between the height uh, for the two groups and the alternative hypothesis says that there is a difference between the height for these two groups and since the value here for the p-value is less than 0.05, this indicates that there is a significant difference between the height for males compared to females. And the males have a higher uh, height or are taller than females as statistically proven by the independent sample t test in addition to the p-value also uh, mean differences is calculated which is the difference between the mean for the males and the females which is 8.9 and a standard error for the difference is given also here what is important to consider in this table is the 95 percent confidence interval of the difference difference for the mean so this is a second layer of assuring that there is a significant differences between the two groups in terms of the height or tallness and as the mean difference is equal to 8.9 between the two groups the 95 percent confident interval is uh, between an upper and a lower value and this mean difference uh, fall between these two values and since uh, the values for the up lower and the upper doesn't doesn't cross the zero value then this also give another assurance that there is a significant difference between males and females and males are taller than females this is confirmed by performing the student t test for unpaired samples if in case that there were unequal variances then the value to consider and to look at and to interpret will be the second row here for unequal variances which has a t-test a degree of freedom and the p-value so this is the way to perform student t-test for unpaired samples in SPSS when there are two groups of data and the data in both groups are normally distributed and have an equal variances.